What's up, y'all? I'm Mike from Omega Music. Gus Stathis. And I'm Sarah Levin. We're the owners of Barrel House. And today we are cracking a seal on the new Yob record. Uh, it's called Our Raw Heart. And I guess to say we're cracking a seal on it is a little misleading because <laughs> this is a relapse records release, and like all their releases, there's no seal. Right. So this is kind of a metal thing. I was telling y'all earlier, mm -hmm. um, a lot of metal groups do this. They ship the records kind of like archival style. So they're not in the jacket. Um, they leave that empty, so I guess the seams don't get split, which is uh, definitely a very safe way to send a record. Right, so it's just better for the packaging in general? Yeah, it's, uh, sometimes we do get records with a little split seam at the top or something like that, and we have to call the distributor and get an exchange for it, because most people are gonna look at that and not want it unless there's a discount or something. So Word, yeah. it's nice that they do that, I like that. Uh, this is the... Limited edition indie exclusive uh, of this album, by the way. So you can only get it at independent stores like Omega Music. Nice. Shop and small. what makes it unique is that it is metallic gold vinyl. That's red. Yeah, that's puke yellow. That, that, that's amazing. <laughs> that's great. It's gold. I like it. We've yeah. done a lot of gold records on yeah. it. We did Big Crit, we did Run the Jewels, and now we have Yacht. So. Yeah. yeah, that's great. Is that a gem on the, on the middle, too? Looks like on, it. On yeah. the side? Yeah. Oh, it looks like a D20. The side that I saw looked like the top of the gem. I didn't see that it was uh, okay. symmetric. Mm -hmm. So this album, I was reading about it. Uh, I've listened to it a couple of times, but um, I read the background on it on my way here today. And it was written uh, mostly by the uh, lead singer who was hospitalized at the time. Had like some serious health issues. So it's a little more, I think, uh, doomy. Yeah. Than some of their other it, stuff. It's a doomy record. Yeah. It's a. But that's why he was like, uh, you know, probably had a lot of crazy thoughts going through his head. Sure, he yeah. The, when he wrote the record. How many but, people write an album in a hospital bed? Uh, him and Dilla, I know. But Word. I don't know anybody else. Yeah. So, yeah. Fair enough. That's pretty sweet. Yeah. I mean, not sweet that he was in the hospital. Right? <laughs> sweet that he, you know. I feel like Jason Derulo did. Did he? I mean, I know that he was in the hospital for a long time because he broke his neck. Oh, okay. Like a stage light fell on during a show, oh, and he broke his neck. Yeah, that'll do it. So he was like Dang. down for a long time. Dang. So it's very possible that you're in the hospital. Very possible. There we go. <laughs> uh, the jacket here, we've got lyrics to the songs, so that's awesome, especially because of uh, of the situation in which he wrote the album. The lyrics are obviously going to be very important, so uh, you can actually just read. Them. Yeah, yeah. Some credits in there. I like the spine out, it's got the uh, oh, color yeah. prism. Yeah, I didn't see that. Yeah. You might not be able to see that, but you can come to Omega Music and pick it up for yourself. And then you'll have to look at it whenever you want. Uh, what are we pairing this with, y'all? Uh, we are pairing it with Dark Horse Brewing Company's Bourbon Barrel Age Scotty Karate. We figured uh, there are very few breweries that are more metal than Dark Horse. That's right. So, uh, it just kind of made, made a lot of sense. And we're fresh off the heels of a Dark Horse visit. Yeah, yeah. So it yeah. also seemed fitting for that reason. Yeah. Uh, so when we pop these open, laugh at Cooley as he tries to pour it. And <laughs> Preemptively discuss, laugh at Cooley. Discuss on it. Yeah. <laughs> Big shout out to Flo at Dark Thank Horse, you. by the way, for setting up our trip. Yeah. Love yeah. you, Rack. Uh, we will tell you more about the results of our trip here in just a minute. Uh, yeah. Flo set it all up for us. It was great. Be the best. Okay. Psych yourself out. You're getting it. Got this. There you go. Well and slow, well and slow. It didn't last. Oh my god. Ha -ha! You yeah. did it. First time for everything. Let's cheer Cheers. The Cheers. <laughs> Scotch ale, right? So malty, barely any hot presence, full bodied, and then they age it in freshly emptied bourbon barrels. So you get those kind of like obviously bourbon notes, but within that, like kind of vanilla, toffee. Yeah, maybe a little bit toasted coconut with that big malt body. Yeah, yeah. so good. I love Scotch ales too. It's available here in bottles, and we'll have it on tap for our Dark Horse event. Our Dark Horse event? When's that? 
July 22nd on a Vinyl Vinyl Sunday. What are we going to be tapping? All kinds of shit. <laughs> <laughs> but especially the Vinyl Vinyl Sunday beer that we brewed yeah. at Dark Horse. Yeah, yeah. Um, you have not felt true power until you've crushed hundreds of chocolate donuts. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy experience. That was such a great time. Yeah, uh, Flo, Mark Floyd, uh hooked us up with the opportunity to go to Dark Horse and brew a beer, uh, Imperial Stout, probably clocking in in the 13 and a half region percent. So it's gonna be a big boy. It's almost double this. Yeah. Seven and a half. No, that's no, like five point seven five. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Imperial Stout brewed with donuts, which we hand mashed ours. Chocolate, chocolate cake donuts that were baked at Dark Horse. Right. Um, also coffee and Madagascar vanilla. Coffee, which was roasted at Dark Horse. Yes. See, what, what I don't think a lot of people understand is that Dark Horse isn't just a brewery, right? Nope. No. They're it's a, a village. brewery, a restaurant, <laughs> a motorcycle shop, a furniture store, a skate shop, tattoo a tattoo shop. Tattoo shop. General store, did you say that? I don't think so. They got a general store, <laughs> a bakery, and a coffee roaster. Yeah. They sell all kinds of homebrew stuff in the general store too. Yeah. So it's yeah, crazy. Yeah. They encourage brewing amongst their community, which is great. Yeah. Uh, you gotta go there. It was like it's, I didn't know I've what to expect and it exceeded like it. anything I could have possibly expected. Yeah. It was yeah. It's great. a self-contained unit. Like it's a city, it's a small town yeah. Yeah. of just dark horse. Yeah. Make a trip, it was like three hours from yeah. Dayton. It's three, like, three and a half. Yeah. yeah. Not if, bad if you're at not all. in Dayton, still make a trip, but it's not bad from Dayton at all. And I think you can crush the entire S Town podcast very back. We yep. did that. Yeah. We did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, come down, hang out at the party with July 22nd. July 22nd, by the final Sunday. Cooley's going to be DJing. Yeah. Uh, We're going to have some super special beers on tap, including the ones that we. Or the one that we made ourselves, mm -hmm. uh, and fairly it's played the fifth, which is a Woo! buzzword beer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be a great time. We're gonna be playing all sorts of great records. Um, if you got something you want to listen to that day, bring it down too. I'll throw it in the mix. Uh, I can't wait. July twenty second. We'll see y'all there. Yeah, yeah. Um, make sure you comment, like, share the video, all that good stuff, and stop down at Omega to get that new Yob album, as well as stopping at the Barrel House on Vinyl Vinyl Sunday, or any day really, to get the Bourbon Barrel Age Scotty Karate, which is the name. Right? <laughs> Scotty Karate. That's a sweet name. Get it before they, it's gone. This they have some great forever. names on their beer. It like, it smells like a safety meeting. Yeah, and what was the, what was the Jesus one? <laughs> Scary Jesus Rockstar. Yeah. There's a story behind that. Do you know that? No, I don't. So they were, I remember Dark Horse had a TV show there for a short bit, um, and they got a lot of notoriety out of that. So. Nickelback asked to shoot a music video on site at Dark Horse, okay. and, and they said, like, absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> and then named a beer after their lead singer, who looks like Scary Jesus, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why it's called Scary Jesus Rockstar. And there's, like, a cartoon version of that dude on the label. Yeah, yeah that's amazing. <laughs> yeah. I, I almost bought that shirt, and if I would have known that story, I definitely would have bought that shirt right there. Right. That's great. But yeah, again, shout out to Dark Horse. We can't thank you enough. Great time. You guys are the best. Come drink the fruits of our labor, labor July 22nd. Yeah. Cheers. 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 Cheers.